Okay, I guess uh, we'll start with the next talk by uh, Dmitry Chastuchin, and uh, he's director of security consulting at ERP Scan. Um, actually, I think he lives and breathes uh, security in his work, but also in his spare time, talking at conferences, finding bugs in uh, various pieces of software. But today he will be talking about SAP security and um, well, the cybersecurity landscape. Let's see if we get a apocalypse. Thank you. Okay. Hello. As you, as you hear, my name is uh, is Dmitry, and today I will tell you about SAP security. I will show you some uh, popular vulnerabilities, uh, popular attack on SAPs. Uh, also, I will describe some uh, risk related to SAPs, and we will touch some. Uh, Basic platforms, and also we will touch. Uh, we'll, we will see uh, what about security in latest uh, SAP models like uh, SAP HANA and uh, SAP Mobile Platform. So, uh, the company I work for is called ERP Scan. We are the developers of ERP Scan Security Scanner for SAP. And also, we conduct a security assessment of business applications and maintenance systems. Uh, uh, mobile systems, etc. We find a lot of vulnerabilities in, in SAP. We did a lot of penetration testings. We did a lot of talks on different security conferences, etc. So, who knows what is a SAP? Yeah, few of you. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, okay, let's start. So, as a who doesn't? Who do not know? Uh, the SAP is the most popular business application. Uh, a lot of installation all over the world. Many of, many of these uh, installation in uh, in really big international companies. Uh, maybe you know some of the of these logos. And the main platform of SAP is uh, SAP Netuer ABAP, SAP Netuer Java. SAP Business Objects, uh, SAP HANA, etc. So, why all these guys uh, use uh, SAPs, use the business applications? Because business application can make their life easier. They use them because it will optimize uh, their business processes and probably can save a lot of resources and money. But uh, sometimes after uh, after installation, all of them uh, forget about potential problems uh, related to SAP, like a uh, security of SAP. Uh, but it is a real problem nowadays because in SAP exists solution for every enterprise sector, like uh, oil and gas, manufacturing, logistic, financials, uh, nuclear power, etc. And in every sector, attackers can try to find specific information. Uh, but if we will try to aggregate all attacker goals, we will get something like that. Uh, first of all, it is espionage, some kind of, some kind of stealing information, Stealing financial information, stealing corporate secrets, stealing supplier and customer list, stealing HR data. The next one, it's a fraud. It's a false transaction modification of master data. And the, finally, it's a sabotage. Uh, it's like a denial of service attack, tampering of financial rep records and uh, accounting data, access to the technology to the other technology networks uh, and systems like SCADA using a trust relationships. Even a simple attacks like a deny of service is a very harmful for enterprise application like SAP because uh, this type of attack can stop all business processes in company. And access to the te te to technology network also possible uh, because SAP system is the place where all data uh, from other system is stored and proceed. That's why it's possible to attack other system after compromising of SAP system. And why SAP security is uh, not so easy? Uh, few reasons. 
First of all, it's complexity. Complexity kills security. Many different vulnerabilities in all levels, from network level to application level. Customization. Uh, SAP cannot be installed out of the box. Uh, they have uh, a lot of uh, custom codes and business logics. And uh, in these custom codes, in, for example, in ABAB codes, brings a lot of different vulnerabilities like uh, uh, misauthorization checks. Risky, because uh, administrators are scared they can be broken during uh, updates and also the downtime aspect because uh, security administrators do not sometimes do not install a security nodes uh, or security patch on SAP because for that action they need a stop system or re reboot it and unknown because uh, not so many information about how you should protect your SAP etc. Uh, let's look at the possible risk which may occur after a uh, Compromise, uh, compromising of SAP system. First risk, it's obvious, is stealing of credit card data. It's possible because uh, SAP store information about credit card in different tables. Actually, around of 15 tables store information about credit card tables like VCKUN, VCN, UM, etc. A lot of them. In many of these tables, data about SAP, uh, data about credit card stored encrypted. But in SAP exist function models which allow to decrypt all this data. So that's why encryption is not a problem for attacker. If, if uh, attacker wants to get this information, he will get it. On this slide, you can see the example of the screen which shows the uh, credit card information. The inf you can see type of credit card, card number, expiration date, name of call holder, etc. Pretty interesting for attackers. The next risk, uh, it's a compromising of bidding information. It's a kind of espionage and this type of risk uh, usually used in SRM models specific for SRM models of SAP. It's possible because often uh, access to the SAP SRM systems is available through the internet. For example, an attacker can use functionality of C folder applications, which allow to upload different document documents on the SAP server. This uh, SAP application has some vulnerabilities and misconfiguration and secure uh, uh, misconfigurations, problems, which uh, could help to attacker to uh, get access to the information on SRM system. This means that the competitor's documents could be completely removed from the system, for example, or the information m might be manipulated to win a tender, for example. This type of attack was successfully simulated uh, during our penetration tests. Uh, the third risk is uh, international causing manufacturing defects. This kind of sabotage attack specific for SAP PLM model. Access to the SAP PLM system could allow unauthorized change uh, in product creation schematic and as usually uh, SAP PLM is integrated into some kind of CAD system. Uh, the next one risk is more useful for attackers. It's a authorized, authorized uh, data manipulation uh, of salary data. Uh, for example, through transaction PA13 uh, trans or by direct access to the table PA308, PA2014, etc. Attacker can change, uh, for example, uh, number of hours or try to manipulate uh, of salary of any users. Uh, risk number five, uh, industrial sabotage and disaster. As I said, uh, SAP system often has connection with other in internal system in corporate network like SCADA. And after compromising uh, of SAP, attacker can try to hack another 
system using uh, connection between them. It's possible because usually technology system uh, are not secure and based on obsolete operating system and the only secure, for example, only for secure only for them is a firewall which totally isolate them for corporate network but using uh, but attacker can use a connection between uh, SAP and technology system and using RFC connection share database uh, same password for operating systems database and application using all this stuff attacker can try to get access to the other critical system. And the last risk is uh, tampering banking information. It's a kind of uh, fraud attack. Uh, attacker can get access to the table which store bank account number numbers and change some of them. And now I will show you a quick demo where you can see how an attacker can do that. Mm, one second. So, we have a SAP GUI, we are logging into our SAP system and look at uh, table LFBK, this table store information about uh, bank account numbers. It's a default table for that. We can see a lot of uh, information about ba bank account numbers, etc. Okay, we close it. Now we use a uh, SAP GUI script uh, functionality for attack. We just run a VBS script, and and that's all. Now, if we check again the the same table LFBK. Uh, we can see uh, one of uh, of the line was changed. We, we changed the bank account number. We changed some information, type some something. Uh, that's how attacker can change a bank account number and probably get some money from from a SAP system. Okay, how an attacker can do all this attack? Of course, using uh, uh, vulnerabilities in SAP products. Right now, we have information about uh, about around of three uh, three thousand vulnerabilities. Uh, most of them in SAP NetUver ABAP. And how does SAP AG SAP company solve the problems of vulnerabilities? Just as everyone else, they issue, they create a patches. This patch is called SAP Security Nodes. And if we look at the, this, this diagram, uh, with last five years, the number of patch has grown greatly in comparison of the of the year 2008. It has reached 800 patches as a year which makes a kind of obvious that there is a more and more vulnerabilities in SAP exposed early. However, it's also obvious that the number of SAP nodes in the year 2010 is larger than the year 2014. Why? It's simply enough. Yes, there are less back in the last year, but they are more critical. By the year 2010, all obvious security Vulnerabilities were already discovered. It's currently not so easy to find a SAP vulnerability, but if someone does find it, it, it it's usually a very critical vulnerability which allowed to uh, compromising a lot of system. Uh, and what we know about SAP incidents, it's uh, we heard about few of them. Of course, uh, company do not like to share this type of information. For example. Uh, 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 we have information about compromising NVIDIA customer portals, 
course, NVIDIA used a SAP enterprise portal for the customer portal, or the latest incident which occurred in previous month, Chinese breach of USIS started with SAP. Or another example, probably all you know about Sony hack was hacked and a lot of information was leaked about movies, uh, songs, etc. Uh, we, uh, we, we know Sony used SAP, and if you try to search information about SAP in leaked documents, we will find a lot of information about SAP services, IP address, and even about SAP user passwords. Some of them still works, and <laughs> thanks for sharing this information, our friends. <laughs> Joris, yes, I'll double check information, it truly works. <laughs> and go closely to different SAP models. Uh, start with uh, SAP Nitur ABAP. It's a main platform of SAP based platform for ERP, SRC, CRM, PLM, and all those other platforms. And as I said, uh, a lot of vulnerabilities uh, was. Uh, found in this platform, most of them is uh, missing authorization checks because a lot of custom ABAP codes exist. And this is uh, uh, architecture of uh, SAP Nitur ABAP. Uh, as you can see, uh, a, a lot of different services, a lot of different ports, a lot of different protocol is used. And, uh, for example, when you install SAP Server ABAP, you got SAP get Gateway, SAP Message Server, SAP Dispatcher, SAP ICM, SAP IGS, MMC, Host Control, a lot of them. And all these services do it's a way for attacker for compromising your system. For example, SAP Gateway, by default, uh, SAP Gateway, vulnerable for... Uh, for attack uh, uh, remote command execution. That means uh, attacker can, uh, without, uh, on, without login and password, can get access to the SAP system. For example, now I, I will show you a default configuration of uh, SAP gateways. Uh, for SAP gateway exists a few ACL list which describe who and how and uh, can get access to the SAP gateway. There is a, a, a ACL list SEC info and direct info. By default, uh, this uh, ACL list are disabled. So that means an attacker can just uh, connect to SAP gateways and execute any command on the server side without any notification. So we wrote a little exploit for that. We, we just point a IP address and a port of gateway, uh, run all exploits, our exploit. And to we go, we, we can do anything on the server, for example, uh, execute a command, who am I? Little delay, because our server far, was far away. <laughs> yeah, oops. Yeah, we got the result of uh, my comment now or we can just can upload a, a backdoor on the server which allow us to get a, normally access to the server through the shell yeah we, we got a shell and right now we can normally execute uh, any command on the server side of of sap and uh, when we if we can do any command on sap server we can connect to database 
which used on SAP server without any notification. So that's how we attacker can get access to the SQL server and uh, into this SQL uh, database. He can get any information which stored and used in SAP. For example, we can get a list of users. It's uh, that's how easily with, without any notification, uh, using only one misconfiguration in only one misconfiguration in one of the server uh, service of SAP ABAP attacker can compromise full system. Also, this vulnerability in SAP message server in SAP dispatcher, etc. So a, a, a lot of uh, talks about SAP Network ABP security already was. So if you're interested in Q, you can uh, get all this information in internet. Uh, the latest vulnerability which was found by our guys, it's uh, a lot of denial of service attack, uh, remote command execution vulnerabilities, etc. For example, uh, uh, remote command execution vulnerability in uh, SAP Router. SAP Router, it's a tool, it's a, it's a river proxy server, uh, which allow to uh, connect different uh, SAP installation, uh, connect, uh, which allow to connect user to uh, SAPs, uh, etc. It's a uh, very interesting tools, and if attacker can compromise this uh, SAP router, uh, probably he can get access to the all information which transmit between SAP systems. For example, that's allow him, for example, uh, change updates on the fly. It's already very, very interesting attack. Defense, defense, pretty easy. It's a regular vulnerability management, configuration monitoring, because uh, as you can see, if you do not configure your, for example, SAP gateway, it's a way for attacker to compromise your system. Because a lot of custom codes, source code security also uh, should be done, and segregation of dues. The next one, Platform. It's a SAP Network Java. It's a base platform for SAP Portal, SAP XI, SAP Solution Manager, etc. Uh, also, a lot of vulnerabilities in this platform because uh, SAP Network Java is more uh, have uh, has a lot of uh, web services, a lot of uh, typical web vulnerabilities was found in this uh, platform, like a cross-site scripting, uh, CSRF, uh, some kind of in injection, uh, XML external entity attacks, etc. Also with uh, uh, SAP Java, uh, with, with this model you got uh, uh, a lot of different services like uh, SAP SDM, SAP Log Viewer, SAP Log Viewer Standalone, etc. And for example, we have vulnerability in one of them. It's a SAP CTC vulnerability, which allow to attacker without any uh, Without any credentials, without without any login name and password, uh, create a new user and add this user to administrator groups, and that's how he can get access to the uh, SAP. Uh, now I will demonstrate. Now I demonstrate. We do not have any user in SAP system. But we know config servlet uh, services is a, has vulnerability which allow us to create a user. I use a tool. It's a burp, burp suit. It's a, it's 
special tool which allow to intercept HTTP traffic and replace them. So, again, the vulnerability is uh, really interesting and simple. Uh, if we send a GET request to this server, uh, we got uh, uh, we, we need authorization. But if we change the GET method and send instead GET head method, we do not need any uh, login name and password. It's a very <laughs> very stupid vulnerability, but it works and it really exists. And these services, uh, config servlet, allow us to create. Uh, user, a new user, and also this vulnerability allow us to change the group of this, this user. Now, that's how we can just send a head request with a username and password, and that's how attacker can, without notification, create this user. So we send the head request and try to log in using our new user credentials. And it's look like it's successful, but uh, right now we do not have enough rights. That's why we just move our new user to group, assign our new user to group administrators using the same vulnerabilities. We just send the request with our username and group name administrator. Again, without any authorization. Go. And now if we will log in, and here we go. We have uh, all functionality which are uh, available, available for administrators. Again, without uh, any notifications, we can Compromise full SAP system. Back to our presentation. Again, uh, uh, also for a lot of uh, papers available uh, for SAP Native Java, most of, uh, few of them is our uh, previous talks. So if you you are interesting, please. Read it. The next one model it's a SAP business object. It's an additional platform for business analytics. Uh, <coughs> exist a few versions of them. It's for example SAP business object enterprise XI and business intelligence for dashboards. Uh, and again. All this software has uh, vulnerabilities because it's uh, this software used for reporting, as for business analytics, a lot of uh, uh, web things exist. And whereas we have a web, we have a typical web vulnerabilities like a cross-site scripting, information disclose, etc. Again, a lot of services with. Uh, uh, runs with uh, business objects. Some of them is uh, not only uh, SAP SAP's products like uh, Apache Tomcat. So when you install SAP business objects, you also should uh, <coughs> update uh, software like uh, Apache Tomcat. 
uh, also available some uh, papers about how to compromise uh, SAP business objects. Uh, uh, the latest uh, vulnerabilities, it's uh, insecure cross-domain cross policy, which allow to steal information from web page, uh, uh, port scanning, cross-site scripting, uh, XML external entities, etc. SAP HANA, it's a new platform. It's a new product of SAP. It's an in-memory database. Probably will be default database for all new systems provided by SAP. Because it's a new platform, not so many vulnerabilities on them. Uh, most of all is uh, configuration issues, uh, but because it's a database, some injection like SQL injection, Code injection, etc. It's a uh, SAP HANA architecture. A lot of new SAP technologies uh, used in SAP HANA, which can be used for attack for attacks like uh, XSGS. This is a uh, it's, this is a SAP version of server-side JavaScript. Uh, that means. Uh, now attacker can use JavaScript uh, injection on the server side for attack. Uh, uh, Web-based ED, uh, etc. Also, the latest uh, vulnerabilities in SAP HANA, it's a uh, client-side JavaScript code injection, or other words, it's just XSS, server-side JavaScript code injection. Uh, SQL injection, of course, uh, all, all this stuff allowed to attackers get information from database. Uh, also, new language uh, used in SAP, which uh, uh, can be used to extend SQL script functionality, and for example, for reading or writing a file from operating system. And uh, uh, some other interesting vulnerabilities in SAP HANA, like uh, CCRF token bypass, a lot of hard coded keys. If we talk about hard coded keys, uh, very interesting how uh, SAP HANA store critical information, uh, like a user password, some encryption keys, etc. For th for this uh, functionality, SAP HANA use uh, File located on on the server side. Uh, it's called SSF underscore SAD of SAP system dot DAT, and uh, all information uh, uh, stored in this in, on, in this file. Of, of course, this file is uh, encrypted. Uh, SAP used triple death algorithm for encryption, but most interesting things it's uh, what what the keys they used for encryption the keys is, is default and hard coded uh, and the key is uh, the same in all installation of SAPs that means uh, if we know the keys we can get access to the this file and successfully decrypt all user passwords and, and, and that's cool, it really works. And as I said, SAP HANA, it is a memory database. Uh, that's why attacker can steal information from database, from database file, from file system. But the, by the way, uh, SAP HANA drops some data into file system, like a back, backups and save points. Uh, uh, and for an attacker probably can try to read some safe points and get information from safe points, but uh, uh, SAP provide some data volume volume encryption functionality, which allow to administrator encrypt some uh, encrypt uh, volume using uh, ISCBS algorithm uh, and. 
the main thing is the key <laughs> again, which key use a uh, SAP HANA for disk encryption. This key is uh, it's a random key, but this key uh, stored in security storage in the file system. Again, we can uh, get access to the security storage, uh, decrypt this security storage using a default key and get information about user's name, user passwords and keys which used for encryption, uh, for which used for volume encryption. That's how attacker can bypass a, a lot of things. SAP HANA defense, uh, of course, vulnerability management, uh, the next one, you should uh, change the encryption key after installation, uh, restrict access to the security storage, and carefully read the, uh, some guides which SAP provide. And the last one, platform, it's a SAP mobile platform. Uh, it's a platform which allow to get information from uh, from uh, SAP ERP uh, using uh, your laptop or your mobile phones, your tablets, etc. So uh, we did a research uh, uh, of the, of SAP mobile platform and uh, SAP Aferia, it's a MDM solution, mobile device management solution provided by SAP. We found a lot of interesting attacks, uh, information is global man in the middle, hard code, data, buffer flow, remote code execution, even uh, attacks which allow you to send SMS to the client and wipe all data without any notification. But right now we cannot disclose uh, many of these uh, vulnerabilities because it's uh, still patching. Now SAP close only one of them. It's uh, authorized access which allow to uh, do SQL queries to the other applications. Defense. Uh, it's a common defense. It's a, of course, right now exists a lot of guidelines uh, which describe how you can secure your recipe system. Uh, we uh, create a list with uh, nine points which you should check on your recipe system. So it's lack of patch management, default password, of course. Uh, uh, still, during our penetration tests, we found a lot of uh, default passwords. Uh, disable all unnecessary functionality, insecure configuration, etc. And as a conclusion, uh, SAP is a critical application, of course, and you should protect this type of system. And protection should be a complex. Uh, you should uh, also check your system regularly and, uh, of course, uh, use a, a read a SAP security notes carefully and install it, of course. That's all. If you, if you have any questions, I will ask for it. We have a few times, a few minutes. Yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, all, all links it's, uh, will be available so you can get that. Yes. Some, some training? Training? Uh, yeah. Uh, once again, please. Give some training. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, of course we have it, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I can tell you about it a bit uh, after talk. Okay? Yes.
uh, of course, uh, uh, old products uh, are more vulnerable because uh, when we start, uh, when we started uh, research uh, uh, and finding vulnerabilities in SAP, it just uh, when we when I saw how SAP realized some uh, secure methods, it's a just wow! How 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 they do that? But uh, in the latest products, it's, uh, they really increase their security. They provide uh, even, uh, for example, for uh, web application, SAP right now provide a framework SAP UE5, which includes all necessary secure uh, methods, and that's how they improve their security. So. Yes, it's uh, modern products, uh, it's uh, security, it's uh, really stronger. That's about all the time we have for now. So uh, <laughs> the rest of the questions can be done in the, during the break. So thank you very much. Uh, Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thank you.